Well, today we're going to show how to install a PL259. First step is to uh, measure out about an inch and a half and uh, then uh, score the outer poly coating there, the insulation, and um, get that all taken off there. And once you have that taken off, you can move on to the next step, which would be unwrapping the braid <coughs> kind of just uh, deciphering it and uh, getting it all fanned out we'll uh, put it in uh, fast motion for you because it takes a little bit take some time just work under that braid and get it all folded back nice and flat against the outer shell there now you want to measure out three eighths of an inch and leave that sticking out <coughs> Uh, for the center conductor. Uh, I found out wax works really well uh, on the putting wax on the braiding there. Next step is to uh, put on that uh, the outer shell there. You do not want to forget that. And make sure you have it th the threads facing the right way. And just begin threading on your center conductor of the PL259. And uh, with LMR 400 like I'm using here, you are going to have to use pliers. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, and continue threading that on until uh, you uh, get about halfway through. This is not quite halfway through right here. But uh, uh, go until you see about half of that polyfoam sticking through uh, those soldering holes. And then stop. And uh, what you want to do once you get it actually halfway is cut off that excess braid as close as you can get it. And then finish screwing on the, um, the PL259 until uh, the braiding just disappears. Uh, that way there's no jaggedy edge or anything. No braiding. You don't want any braiding sticking out. And uh, once you're done cramming that on there, the, fi the second final step would be to... Uh, cut off that uh, center conductor on LMR 400 it's actually a solid conductor so I'll go ahead and snip that off I'm just taking my time here no reason to rush haste makes waste and uh, after that uh, we'll do uh, some soldering now I'm not exactly sure oops <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I think we're going to go ahead and solder it right now. I guess I should have played back the video before uh, before I start talking, but oh well. <laughs> I'm using kind of a, a small solder, um, <coughs> small small gauge solder, that is, uh, for this uh, task here. Uh, I should have used a little bit bigger solder probably, but uh, oh well. And... Uh, you got to be careful with that uh, propane torch. Uh, you can you can really overdo it on the heat. Uh, I've actually ruined a couple of PL259 so by using a propane torch like this, but uh, uh, it it definitely uh, gets the the job done quick and and not not a whole lot of pre preheat time. And just let that wick there for a second or two, and and uh, but you don't want to heat up that Teflon insulation that uh, that goes around the center conductor. Um, once you heat that up and it distorts why it's y your connector is going to be uh, uh, suffering issues if not uh, making your uh, standing wave go up so <laughs> you want to be careful when you're soldering not to let too much heat build into it but uh, overall this is probably one of the best ways to do it it provides a th full 360 degree contact all the way around on your shielding and uh, there's no solder points to uh, fail and, and turn green or anything like that. So it really is a very nice way. It's a clean installation. It works well. Uh, I've, I've heard it recommended by a few people. And uh, I, I guess what I'm trying to do with this video is get this idea to take off. That way uh, everybody else can enjoy the benefits of, uh, of the, the way to install this. <coughs> Uh, I was originally showed this way by uh, Kilo 3 Delta Alpha Victor uh, on his website, k3dav.com. So tribute goes to Dave uh, for showing uh, this method. Anyway, 
Thank you very much for watching. As you can see, a nice clean installation. Can't beat a clean installation. KD0 WTE clear.